what's going on y'all this review probably ain't gonna be long because the episode really wasn't nothing it was um real housewives of uh, new jersey season seven episode three um what's it called leopard is the new black so basically you know if the episode starts off with them everybody's getting ready for um Getting the kids ready and, you know, getting their day ready and all this stuff. And we see the struggle that Teresa got to go through. She can't go down to the driveway, you know, because she just got out of jail. She's still being heavily monitored. I said, damn, bitch, you got to get permission to go into your own driveway. Fuck, okay? Um. Meanwhile, Rick Ross is still flossing and flaunting his um, freaking ankle monitor that he got on Snapchat. Listen, Rick Ross was on Snapchat today trying to make his titties b bounce. And he was doing it. You know when dudes make their pe pecs bounce? I said, if you don't put them titties away, Rick Ross, not safe for work, okay? Not safe for work. Mature content. But um, anyway, he was doing it too. He was proud. I said, <laughs> but that nigga is the most traveling ass nigga that I know with a fucking ankle monitor on. I'm sitting here like, who is your probation officer? And hook them up with, the, hook Teresa up with them because he be all over the world with that ankle monitor on. But um, anyway, so, you know, they showing that. They showed um Dolores and her son, 17-year-old son, and getting ready. And, you know, Melissa struggling to get the kids out. She just, you know, calling Joe, wishing that he can just take out two days a week and help her get ready, which is not asking much because he is also their father, but he also is the main provider at this point. So, and he's very old school. So, you know, I get where it's coming from, but, um, you know, cause she's working at the shop more and all that stuff. She's trying to become this business woman and she just wanted to, you know, a little bit of help. Um, Jacqueline getting little Chris, uh, CJ ready and stuff like that. That was cute. So, at the beginning, you know, um, Teresa about to clean up. Next thing you know, somebody rings the doorbell. And it is Jacqueline. Jacqueline is over at her house, still concerned and still talking about this whole thing with Teresa and this invitation. Teresa and this um, letter, I should say. And her husband, I think it was her husband or either her, whoever. They was like... Go ahead and just, you know, you want to get it off your mind, go ahead and just go over there and say what's up. Let me tell you something. Teresa is good. Maybe because she ain't been out of jail but uh, a couple of weeks or so. But um, you don't pop up in my house, okay? If I didn't invite you, don't pop up in my house. I don't care if we're good friends or not. You'll be standing outside that door until you call me and you be like, so look, girl, I'm about to be over or I'm at the door right now. Are you busy? No. First of all, I give you some attitude if you do that, especially if you're my good girlfriend or whatever. But if you are a stranger, your ass will stay out there on this porch. Or if you're somebody I really don't fuck with like that, you know, I know she extended the olive branch just a little bit, but we ain't really on good terms like that. You know, we didn't really, you know, outline what's going to happen. You know, and I figured that they was going to um, meet up at a place or whatever and get it all out before we start going to people's houses and shit. But leave it to Jacqueline. You know, some people are different. Just wouldn't be me. So, um, they was doing all that and Jacqueline shows up. Teresa was about to clean up the house, you know, um, and Jacqueline pops up and was like, oh my God, how you doing? She was like, hey, bitch, I'm about to clean up the house. Girl in that confessionals, Teresa was like, what the fuck is she doing here? <laughs> I said, that's who I, that's what she wanted to say, but she didn't say that shit to her face. But, you know, eventually they sat down and they talked and, you know, she was like, I got the letter. I was a little bit confused because of the way that we left things in Arizona, basically, in Arizona, it was almost as if we was going to try to make things work. But then, you know, you weren't calling. I wasn't calling. And then, you know, after that, you go to the reunion. And the last time I saw you, you basically said that you didn't want a friendship with me. And the way that you said it was so cold, which it was, <laughs> which it was. Teresa said, no. <laughs> and I said, you know, girl, just say what it is. You weren't fucking with her at that moment. And basically... That's what it was. They, she she gave her explanation for it. And I said, you know what? At this time and place, I really don't care. 
and they didn't went through so much. We don't need no explanation. You know, if you're going to bury the hatchet, bury the hatchet and just let shit go. Okay. And that's basically what they ended up doing. Um, and, um, you know, they hug it out. Melissa, uh, Teresa showing her yoga moves and, you know, all this shit. And I was just like, this is kind of, mm. I'd be hesitant. You know, Teresa hesitant. You know, Jacqueline, she probably hesitant because that's her nature. Okay. So, um, moving on from that, um, Siggy goes over to Dolores' house and, you know, they over there trying to redecorate her house. You know, this is the house that she came back to after she got a divorce and all this stuff. And, um, then at that point, uh, what's her name? Jacqueline comes over. Jacqueline let them know what happened because Siggy and Dolores was just talking about, you know, because Dolores set up a little meeting for Siggy to go meet <coughs> Teresa. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, meet Teresa, right? Siggy, I can, I can dig Siggy, but Siggy is the type of person that I probably be like, girl, you need to calm it down. But then again, I probably won't because that's her personality. I can see from the fact that it's not a put on. She's like a bubbly person and she talks a lot and she talks loud and you have to really get used to it. It's like... Because it seems genuine to me. You know, it don't seem like a put on so I can probably get used to it even though I really don't fuck with all of that stuff. But she just seems such a, a, a fun person to be around for some reason. Because she was just like, you know, I really want to get to know Teresa and I don't care about what stuff being put out there in her past or whatever. That does not apply to me. I want to get to know the person who she is right about now. And if y'all friends and um, Jack and friends, I want all of us to get together and be cool with each other. I said, come on, Siggy. All right. You know, and so Jackson came over telling them what happened and they was all happy about that. And they was about to throw Dolores this party for her birthday. You know, she don't celebrate birthdays and stuff like that, but she just going to let them go ahead and do it. So eventually Siggy do meet up with Teresa and they do hit it off just a little bit. At first, Teresa was a little apprehensive. You can see that, you know, because you got to get used to Siggy's little personality a little bit. But other than that. You know, she was telling her about the party that they're going to throw for Dolores and the theme is leopard print and all this stuff. And, and and it was cute. It was cute. Bitch, when speaking of leopard, I don't know why I just thought of this, but go back to when um Jacqueline came over to Teresa's house and Teresa was telling her all about how they got off in prison, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she said, you know, the girls, they be doing each other. They had dildos. They be making it out of two, uh, uh, two picks, whether it's toothbrush and, and, and gloves and maxi pad. I said, bitch, I'm sitting here trying to imagine how the fuck. So you take a toothbrush. Hmm. And I guess you wrap a maxi pad around it for girth. And then you put the glove on it to, uh, to make it seem like plastic or whatever so it could slide up in there you could put some spit water lube for lube or lotion or whatever vaseline and you listen i was i literally was sitting here thinking about how the fuck you know in dire situations you come up with some shit to get your knees and your and your rocks off okay i just said your fingers won't work bitch i mean on, on just the new black boo had the fucking um screwdriver so i guess i guess Bitch, she was riding the shit out of that, um, the end of that screwdriver. Girl, I wouldn't want to touch that handle. But, um, anyway, moving on from that, um, Melissa, she goes to her shop and she's trying to get everything together. And, you know, she's having this little difference of the mind with her business partner, saying, basically putting her foot down, saying, this is my shop. Yes, you're my business partner, but this is my shop. My people would not want to wear this shit that you're trying to put up in here. And the clothes that's going to be in here is going to be Melissa Gorga shit. You know, so I was like, oh, all right, you know, put your foot down. And, okay, we got the same thing where she was talking to Melissa. She goes over to um, Teresa's house and... Teresa tells her about Jacqueline and, you know, they're all here for it. And, you know, Melissa explains the difference between Jacqueline and Teresa, which we already heard before. And then, you know, she started talking about Joe and how she just wants him to come home a little bit more and help and all this stuff. And I don't give a damn about really what they was talking about too much. But I just like the fact that so far now they're bonding. OK, and this is how it should have been. OK, 
So you get this scene with Dolores and her family. Her family, her husband, her ex-husband slash baby daddy comes over to the house with a bunch of pizza. Kind of find out the baby daddy, he lived damn near next door to them because he wants to be close to her and the kids. Even though they're divorced, they're still like best of friends. Um, they have a 20-year-old daughter and they also have a 17-year-old son. And, um... All her parents is over there. Her grandparents is over there. And basically, you know, in an Italian family, you're not supposed to get divorced and stuff like that. And to basically everyone else, it's like they're still together because everyone still likes each other. And that's how they treat it. They treat it like they're still married. And I do like their dynamic. You know, some people get divorced and it gets nasty. And they've been divorced for 17 years, but they've still been good friends and all this stuff. And, you know... It was nice to see that cohesiveness and that, you know, um, togetherness that they had, the fact that they was divorced and all this shit, and they made it work. Uh, even their kids seems well-adjusted. You know, it all could be for camera, but, you know, it seems whatever. So, we get to um, Dolores' little party that Siggy was throwing. Everybody's coming in with Leopard. Teresa's there. Melissa's there. Jacqueline's there. All of a sudden, Kathy shows up, and Rosie shows up. Teresa is over here like, I said, girl, don't do it, okay? Don't fucking do it tonight. Basically, Teresa's got her panties in a bunch because of the simple fact, because like she told um, Jacqueline, back in the day, she couldn't forgive, okay? Now she can. I said, you goddamn lie because you sure ain't forgive Kathy and Rosie for whatever the fuck it is that they claim, you claim that they did. And, um, I guess they showed a clip from, uh, either last season or that little special that they did when Teresa got, they showed Teresa going to jail and her stay and all that stuff about, um, Kathy and them sitting around talking about, you know, Melissa, uh, Teresa going to jail and all that stuff. And she wasn't appreciative of that. I understand that. Cause I don't like people gossiping about my shit either, but you know, you put it out there on TV. So of course, mm, what the fuck they going to talk about? But, um, anyway, look at my lips. Okay, let me tell you something. Some shit been going on with them, but they getting back to original. You know, y'all can't see it, and thank God y'all can't see it. But I can, you can just tell when shit is off, and that's how it is. I think I got like eczema or some shit, but they fine now. They look good. All right, <laughs> stop it. But I uh, know. Let me stop playing with y'all. Y'all like bitch. Hurry up and end this video. I is. I am. I'm going. Okay. And so, <laughs> Teresa reluctantly gave K Kathy a hug and the kids or whatever. <laughs> you know she didn't want to do that. And Rosie. Rosie said, bitch, I don't even think she pissed off at me. I think she just don't want to be bothered. And so, bitch, I'm not finna beg a motherfucker to talk to me. And that's just what it's going to be. Okay? You do you, I do me. All right? So, it is what it is. Um... After that, you know, everybody's talking and they're giving speeches and they're giving stories and they're acting out stories about Melissa, uh, uh, Dolores. And, you know, we find out that Joe used to have a thing for Dolores and, um, you know, Melissa's husband. Uh, Teresa's telling some things about going dorm rooms and how, you know, the girls, because she used to go to an all-girls college or some shit like that. It was an all-girls dorm and, you know, they was up in there fucking each other. She said at one point somebody, it woke her up because it was smelling like fish. I said, bitch, let me tell you something. The vagina, no matter how clean you are, it's going to have a smell, okay? Now, it's the difference between a nasty smell and a good smell, okay? Healthy and dirty. Bitch, if your shit is smelling like fish like that, and when you get ready to have sex or whatever, it's going to excrete some type of smell too. But if your shit is smelling like fish on fish mode, baby, something is wrong, okay? Somebody was living foul up in that bitch, all right? But, um, <laughs> they was like, did they touch you? She was like, no, I didn't touch nobody, but they was touching me, you know, like giving massages and shit. I said, Teresa, you lying. Girl, you let, girl, what else did you do? I'm not bad, you just got massages and shit. Ain't nothing wrong with just getting your little pussy. You know, it is what it is. Dying situations, okay? You, you come up with some shit. But um, anyway, everybody was having fun. Melissa was having fun. Teresa was having fun. And when it was time to go... Um, Teresa had to take Melissa ass home because she was drunk as shit. And they on the phone, drunk dialing, um, Joe, her husband, and all this stuff. And it was cute. It was real cute. This was a cute episode for right now. I'm waiting for the real drama to start because I know what's coming up. And, um, 
If I missed anything, put it down in the comments and we'll discuss. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.